Hi, my name's Kurt Bossart with Denison Yachting, and we are at the Miami International Boat Show 2023. The first thing I'd like to do is explain this boat, what it is and where it was built. In 2008, this hull was created. The keel was laid and all the machinery you see below decks were installed. It is, however, a 1985 house that was built at Abiking and Rasmussen and reinstalled on this yacht at Delta Shipyards. So she's in 2008 with a 1985 house. The original design of the yacht was by Tom Fexis, who is a uh, nationally renowned naval architect. So she's long and thin with a very good hull, capable of 21 knots, and again, capable of long distances at sea. Most recently, under the current ownership, the interior was completely redone, from the headliners, to the carpets, to the furniture, to this bar that was installed 2020. And in 2021 to 2022, a battery inverter system was installed, which is very unique. It makes it very fuel efficient. The yacht can essentially run on battery power, including air conditioning, for a 24-hour period before the generators have to be turned on to charge the batteries. One of the first features I would like to break out for you is that all of the lounging, dining spaces are on the main deck. For an older gentleman like Merv Griffin, who owned this yacht at one point, that's really important because it doesn't require climbing up and down stairs and decks. We've got a bar lounge back here with access to the aft staterooms, a brand new bar, then a sitting living area midship with a dining room, and then all the way forward is the owner's private office, again with another lounge area. What that affords is an amazing sun deck of 90 feet or longer up top. We're gonna get started on this tour at the jacuzzi deck with two brand new jet skis with a davit to starboard that can drop the jet skis on either side of the yacht. It's not just jet skis that we have up here, but as you see to both sides, we have water kayaks, which make this a super fun boat. We have a barbecue grill to port, and then midship we have some really neat cafe style seating. If we clear this area out, as you can see from here all the way back, we have at least seating for 16 to 18 people and many more standing. For those sitting in the forward area, in this dining area, we've got a soft top made of pipe welders, canvas and aluminum. There is also lighting in the top, so at night it makes it quite a romantic area for dining in this cafe style seating arrangement. Forward of the seating area, there's a helm station. This area also serves as a bit of an observation deck with comfortable seating for guests. With this being the preferred helm, in bad weather, we have a full environment controlled wheelhouse down below. You may be wondering why they kept the older house built by Abiking at a hull that was manufactured at Delta. This is why, this wheelhouse. This is the excellence of a German builder, Abiking and Rasmussen. When you're running this yacht, you have a bit of both worlds. You have the classic looking dash, but all of the electronics were modernized. To left, we have quantum zero speed stabilizer. We have the new modern digital MTU controls, chart plotter, and a Pilot Star D autopilot. One of the unique things I like about this wheelhouse is it can be accessed from both sides. To port is the crew access, to starboard, the guest access, down to the guest foyer, and on into the salon. Coming down from the wheelhouse, before I get into too much of the interior, I'd like to show you this deck because it's my favorite. You couldn't get a sunburn if you wanted to, but you're still out in the open with wind breezing through. What a perfect place to relax. The piece de resistance of the rebuild at Delta is this back deck. I feel it right here. The access to the water is twofold, down the passerole or down these beautiful stairs. What I also like about this deck are these two little almost crow's nest areas where the crew and the owners can intermingle. When they're not tying up the yacht, it's a wonderful place to stand and see high up over the ocean. The reason I love showing people around this yacht is that there's so many oh wow moments, like this door here. I am gonna show you the lounge, but I'd first like to take you through here. 
Now this is how you build a lazarette. I came in through this access door and we have just a plethora of storage for the railings and other equipment that we might need on the back boat deck. Your deck and Stu's are gonna both love this area. Passing through this door from the lazarette, we enter a huge laundry room with dual washer dryers with just that much more added space for provisioning. Right next to this wash basin, we have a rather large wine cooler but what i really want to show you is this door with direct access to the guest areas i'm sure i've covered this by now but this is a six stateroom yacht starting all the way off at this cozy classic cabin and forward of this we have five more just like it that gives this yacht a great charter potential north of a hundred thousand dollars per week if i had to name this cabin this would be the adventurer's cabin if you're one of those passengers that loves carrying your own maps and charting your own way, this is the perfect cabin to do it. And it's the most comfortable all the way down and all the way back. And what you're gonna find out about this yacht is all of these guest staterooms have their own bathroom suite from beautiful quartz countertops to classic German wood finish. Forward of this cabin, just to the left, is cabin number two. If you have an errant teenager, either in the charter guest party or the owner's party, this is a perfect room that's going to win he or her over as far away from her parents as possible. 2008 was significant for several reasons. The MTU engines, which are the M90 series, 1650 horsepower were installed in 2008 and they only have 2000 hours. The tankage was built in 2008, so she has 5,500 nautical mile range, which is easily transatlantic. The sewage treatment plant, the generators, the water makers, the power converter system, essentially all of the machinery you'll see in the engine room was installed in 2008 at the Delta shipyards. What makes C-Class such a great yacht for large extended families is this direct access from the two guest staterooms aft to this lounge area. This is a separate area and a wonderful place to wind down at the end of the day. We could have a card game going on here, we could have a drink at the bar or a cozy lounge aft, and it can be completely separated from the salon and the dining room forward. I really have to draw your attention to this bar. This is the latest thing that was added to the yacht, and in my opinion, really the only thing the yacht needed, a mixologist's dream. So more of what we find back here in addition to the sink is another wine cooler, an ice machine. Not only has the hull all the interior and the machinery that we've talked about been renewed or replaced, but even the technology, the audio visual system was replaced in 2022. And she has a robust KVH internet dome that has high speed up and down internet service throughout the yacht. Lest you think the lounge is the salon, they are two distinct and separate spaces. This is the most formal space of a yacht where you can use your imagination for any kind of configuration. At the moment, we have her set up with an L-shaped cozy sofa right next to a large flat screen TV. Just forward of these barrel lounge chairs, we move forward into the dining area. All around this dining table, we have buffet storage for china, silver, and glassware. Last thing we point out here is we have direct access to phase two of the guest suite area. The important features we have down here is a second laundry area for guests to do their own laundry if they choose. Staterooms three and four are the two back here which are mirror images of each other and they are double bunks with private baths. I'm walking into the port side double stateroom which is slightly bigger than the starboard side but look at the space you have in here. Stateroom number five is up here to the port and classifies as our VIP stateroom. The features of this stateroom are the large windows which allow a lot of natural light in, the island queen, a built-in desk, and a private ensuite bathroom. Stepping out of stateroom five, we walk into stateroom six. This master stateroom takes up the full width of the yacht, which is 23 feet, very spacious. A large king bed, walk-in closet, his and her bathrooms with a large walk-in shower. 
as we walk up the stairs from the guest stateroom area and through the dining room, we walk into this foyer where the mood changes to a classic pedigree and old world feel. To starboard, we have a guest head directly to port, a real institutional commercial galley that leads also down to the crew area. Forward of that, we have a starboard access to the side deck for guests and my favorite spot on the yacht, the owner's private lounge. A modern TV, a comfy seating area, and a desk to do some chart plotting. We've got a very robust Wi-Fi system and you can get some serious work done here if you'd like to. I teased the gallery earlier, but we're gonna first walk through the pantry area. This space gets used most by the service staff for guest grab-and-go drinks, a buffet for breakfast, and other spur-of-the-moment service item needs. As we pass through the port side of the stew's pantry, we walk into the crew foyer area, which offers direct access to the side decks, a walk-in freezer fridge, and direct access to the wheelhouse. All the way back, we have direct access to the main galley. We have all new galley equipment, we have quartz countertops and a dual galley sink. Not only that, but we have a spacious crew area forward. At the foot of this area, we have a common space for the crew to relax and be away from guests and three cabins sleeping six crew members. The only space I haven't shown you is the bow area. This is such a cool place to stand and wave goodbye to the unfortunate people left on the dock. It's also a great place to take in the yacht show or sit on the bow as we're underway through big waves. C-Class represents a marriage of the best of two shipyards, Abiking in Germany and Delta in America. She offers the best deck spaces, plenty of interior volume, six cabins, and I'd like to show her to you in person. If you have any questions about C-Class, you can reach out to me directly at any time.